what's going on? My name's Alicia and this is Double A Homestead. We are out in the garden today. First, I would like to apologize. I'm hoping that the audio is okay. Still trying to figure that out. I've got the little sock thing on my mic. It is extremely windy out today. But the reason why we are out here is because we have squash that we need to harvest. So let's go ahead and go in the garden and take a look at what we're dealing with. So it's super windy, as I told you, and it's pretty cold. I'm pretty chilly anyway. So we took refuge in our arch and it is covered in gourds. These are our birdhouse gourds and they are so cool. We did do some trimming with them, but as you can see, they have really overgrown still. And this one is really cool. They're all different shapes and sizes. I'm really excited to harvest these this year. So as you can see, things are starting to die in the garden. It is the end of the season and things are looking pretty scary right now. The garden doesn't look that great, but the squash are right around the corner, so let's go. This is where all of our squash are and we have a few different varieties. We cut our corn down and got that all set up for Halloween. It's spooky season, but we are going to be harvesting all of these squash today. We grew five different varieties this year and one of my absolute favorite variety that we grew is acorn squash. Now acorn squash is a little bit different than other squash. You don't really have to cure this. Me personally, I have picked acorn squash in different life stages and been able to eat it that way. A um, few different ways to tell when your acorn squash is done. Some people say that you can wait till the vines are dead and the color of the stem is brown and harvest it that way. Or you can harvest it, like I said, anytime that you want. Or you may have a little orange here where it lays on the ground. That's another indication that it is done. The other squash that we grew this year are the butternut, which I really do enjoy also. We have red curry and white scallop and buttercup. And the difference between those, not only the variety, uh, it's still a squash, but um, they are a winter squash. And compared to this one, I don't have to let this cure or let it die in the vine. Now these ones are a little bit different because I'm going to be storing them for the winter and use them throughout the winter. I want to make sure that they cure. What I mean by curing is make sure that skin gets thick enough so when you do store it, it's not gonna go bad. It's gonna stay good longer. Even though it looks like these squash are still thriving, they're not. This is just coming from the birdhouse gourds on the trellis. They have really worked their way out here. So we're definitely gonna have to sift through these to see what's in here. So one of the things that you wanna be careful when you are harvesting your squash is grubs. And I have one here for a perfect example. You wanna look out, because if I was to store this in my basement where I keep all of my squash, what's gonna happen is this is gonna rot and you may not catch it in time or you might, and it's gonna go bad, it's gonna get stinky, and you don't want that wherever you store your squash. So I thought that these were long gone, but they came back and they're actually doing really well. What we have here is our sour Mexican gherkins and they are so small and they're really neat. And I came and harvested quite a few already, but I still have some on the vine. Oh, shower. So you're probably wondering how do I harvest my squash? As you can see, the plant is completely dead and the stem is really gross. So you wanna leave at least three inches of your stem on your squash. And the reason why is because you don't want it to go bad. I've actually had issues with that before where the stem has broken off and the squash has gone bad from the stem down and has rotted. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your nippers and you're gonna find your squash that you need and you're gonna cut it, and there you go. You've harvested your squash. So I'm getting really cold. It's not terrible out, but it is windy, and um, I do have some layers on, but I get cold very easily, and I'm ready to harvest these squash so I can get inside, so let's go ahead and do that.
So what Andrew and I were discussing is one of the squash that I pulled up, it looked like there was a flatworm on that. And flatworms are very invasive and you're supposed to take them out when you see them. So we were doing some research just to make sure that wasn't what it was and thankfully it wasn't. We've come to the conclusion that we think it's just a regular earthworm. We're all done harvesting the squash and we have different piles, but I wanted to show you guys the piles that we have and I am pretty happy with the harvest that we got. There's a quite a few here, so we're gonna be pretty set for the winter. So these beans look really gross, but that's how we save our seeds. Stay tuned for a future video and how we get those seeds for our next growing season. <laughs> so as you can see all of it piled together there's a quite a few here which I'm happy about we got a really good harvest this year and I'm really excited to have these for the winter but we've got to get these in the boss so we can get these in the house and into the basement for winter Unfortunately, while we were getting the squash inside the boss and loading them up, my memory card was full and it stopped recording. But you can see we have all of our squash in here. The next thing for us to do is get the sunflower heads that we harvested. And we did do a sunflower video, so go ahead and check that out. It's very interesting. So we're gonna get those and then get these up to the house. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. What about this one? Is that, oh, that's on the ground. The last one. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us in the garden today and harvesting this squash. And we were able to harvest some of the sunflowers. Our favorites are uh, dwarf sunspots and our mammoths. Uh, if you were able to learn anything from this video today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We always appreciate that. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.